Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use handlers in Ansible playbooks. Handlers give us another way to make tasks conditional based on the state of a previous task. This video is part of a series. It will make a lot more sense if you watch the playlist in order. We switch to our working directory. We've already seen one method to make a task dependent on the state of another. In this playbook, we have a task that adds a line to the nginx config file and registers a variable. The second task restarts the nginx service if the first task is marked as changed. That approach is fine for a single dependency. This playbook has two tasks making changes to the nginx config file so we have to register two variables. The restart task has to check both. We can't risk using a single variable as the second task will overwrite the response from the first. As the number of tasks that need to trigger the restart increases, the messier this type of approach gets. This is where handlers come in. This playbook has a handlers section. We've moved our restart nginx task to the handlers section. We can now notify a handler if a state is changed. No matter how many tasks notify the handler, the handler will only run once at the end of the processing. We run the playbook. Both lines are added to the nginx config file, and the handler is run once. A single task can notify multiple handlers. In this playbook we have two handlers. The first restarts nginx, the second restarts the firewall service. The notify statement uses a list to notify both handlers. After cleaning up the nginx config files on the app servers, we run the playbook. The nginx config file is amended then both handlers are run. This playbook uses an alternative approach to notify both handlers. The two handlers now listen for a generic topic called restart stuff. Our task can now notify restart stuff if there's a change. After cleaning up the app servers, we run the playbook and we get the same result again. We can move the handlers out into a separate file. We make a directory called handlers. In that directory we have a file called main.yaml. This contains the handlers. This playbook imports the handlers. Some people suggest the handlers will be picked up automatically from the handlers directory, but that doesn't work for me. After cleaning up the app servers, we run the playbook and we get the same result again. So handlers simplify management of these dependencies between tasks. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.